This is my first time participating in art crawl. <laughs> I have a, it's called a reconciliation, so I was reconciling that particular transgression. So we have that uh, that has uh, in one of the shine you see a skull and everything, which you know I hide that in a lot of my pieces. You know, it's, and I use a skull as a sign of transition and change rather than death. You know, we deal with death differently. We we see uh, transition, turmoil, change. Uh, uh, more so than most cultures, taking the scraps that somebody's given you and making them into soul food, you know. We took a religion that was given to us and turned it into something different, you know, with gospel music and spirituality and combining African spirituality with it. And so uh, the skulls are more so something to say, hey, you know, this is not to be afraid of. This is something to possess because it's an inevitable aspect, changes, you know? So change equals life, you know? This armor is uh, indicative of, uh, it's, a, it's, a, a lot, uh, it's a metaphor, you know, resolve against any kind of personal battles, any kind of spiritual battles, and I use it to say, instead of, you know, so the viewer can see themselves in it. So instead of walking a mile in another man's shoes, you experience life in another woman's armor. Whether it's uh, the armor that a woman puts on when she has to raise a single son, or the armor she has to put on if she has to, you know, fend off attempts at rape, or the armor she has to put on when she has to you know climb the top of a corporate ladder or the armor she has to put on to you know look in the mirror and feel good about herself you know all these things that that you know a lot of people take for granted and Eden is barren you see here and this is a, a testament to modern times you know what was lush is now being destroyed in the Middle East and and all these biblical epicenters are now being plundered for the blood that's in the land which is the oil. I, I do not live in Harlem. I live in Richmond, Virginia, and I've exhibited in New York a couple of times, uh, most recently down in um, Soho. I was at the Wilmer Jennings Gallery. I find it an honor to to uh, exhibit in the epicenter of black culture where the Harlem Renaissance, uh, you know, took root, you know, be a part of uh, that legacy of uh, artists that happened to be black.